God. And I want to begin by saying, have you ever tried to pray to God? But for some reason, it feels as though that prayer is dry and cold and is routine and traditional. Have you ever tried to pray, but for some reason, it seems like you're just mumbling and fumbling words together to God in prayer? Friends, uh, we're going to talk about something today that will help you to change that from the Word of God to spice up your prayer life, to energize your faith as you pray so that God can do wonders on your behalf. Are you ready? Now, let's go into, uh, into our Bible. Hello, friends. Pastor James is here. I just want to pause quickly to give you a word of blessing today from the Word of God. The title of this devotional is Reviving Your Prayer Life. How do we spice up our prayer life? Uh, the first step we want to give you is this one. Go to God with at least one specific need in mind. When was the last time you've been at the hospital for no reason? I have not met anybody who actually goes to the doctor just because he just wanted to go. You know, well, I got news for you. God is a doctor. Jesus Christ is the great physician. And the Bible says in, in the book of Luke, Jesus says, they that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. So if we go to Jesus, we must first acknowledge that there is a reason to go. There must be a need in mind to go to Jesus Christ, just like a sick individual will go see a doctor. So if you want to change your prayer life, Step number one, make sure you go to Jesus Christ with a specific need in mind. Let us now take a look at a few scriptures. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 1 Peter 5 verse 7. Cast all your care upon him because he careth for you. So look at the verses that we're looking at so far. First Peter says that we need to cast all our care upon him because God cares about you. And in Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, we just read, the scripture says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Now, here's the condition to come. If you're going to come to Jesus, you got to have heavy laden, which means burdens. You need to have some reasons to go. So if you come... It is because there is a need in your mind to go. So if you want to spice up your prayer life, energize and revive your prayer life, always make sure when you go to God, you have a reason in mind to talk to Him about. And when you make this the first reason to go, that will change and it will transform the traditional and routine and fumbling words that we sometimes do in our prayer. It will change that whole concept. Now, let's go to reason, I mean, step number two, to energize your prayer life. Go to God and ask Him in faith and do not doubt. Go to God and ask Him in faith and do not doubt. Let's look at some scriptures. In James chapter 1, verses 5 and 6, If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, not in wavering. For he that wavereth is like the wave of the sea, driven with the winds and tossed. So if you're going to pray to Jesus, rule number one, you got to ask in faith. you got to believe that God is able to, to answer your prayer. Otherwise, it will be pointless to go. And if you choose to go for a specific reason, God says, go, but do not doubt. The truth is we all struggle with doubts. There are many times uh, uh, we pray, we're just not sure if God can do it. You see, um, uh, we got to trust and believe in God's way of working out the situation. We got to trust and believe in God's way of answering our prayer. There are times we pray. The reason we doubt is because we sometimes think that God has to answer in the way that we expect Him to. That is not always how God works. Sometimes God, God takes His time. Sometimes God... Uh, uh, um, 
he, he, he worked things out in a way that is in accordance with his will. Like you've heard people said before, God works in mysterious ways. And that is true because God is looking at the bigger picture. And when God, when you go to Jesus, you got to believe that you got to have the faith and believe the fact you give him, you give the matter to him, he will do his thing. He will work things out according to his own glory, purpose, and honor, and he will work also for your good. Let's look at one more, one more scripture, and we're going to move on. In Mark eleven twenty four, 24, the Bible says, Therefore I say unto you, what, so, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe you receive them, and ye shall have them. In Mark chapter 9, 23, Jesus said unto them, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Let's go to step number three. Go to God with the expectation to receive his blessing. Go to God with the expectation to receive his blessing. Now, let's look at let's re, let's do a quick review of what we looked at so far. You go to the Lord. You go to the Lord because you have a need. You go to the Lord because you have faith. Third, you go to the Lord because you have an expectation that God can bless you. Now, let's look at that quickly. Psalms 34 verse 15, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. I want to read to you the story of an individual in the Old Testament. His name was Jabez. Now, the reason this man is very significant is because of the way that he prayed to God and that changes the scope of everything about him. And his name has been chronicled in the Old Testament as a result of a man who knows how to pray to God in faith. Now, let's look at that quickly from the Word of God. In 1 Chronicles chapter 4, 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10, Now Jabez called on the name of God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wilt bless me indeed and enlarge my border, that your hand might be with me, that thou wilt keep me from arm, that it will not pain me. And God granted him what he requested. So friends, can we come to a quick summary? What are some three ways you need to go to God? Just like Mr. Jabez bring this thing to a close, he asked God for what he wanted and God blessed him. And by the way, he wasn't just asking for spiritual blessings. He was asking for money. He was asking for physical needs, for tangible things. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can ask God for anything. Yes, ask for faith, ask for courage, ask for the Holy Ghost. But you can also ask him, for financial needs and God will bless you no matter what the request might be so now friends what are the three things I want to remind you of number one go to God with at least one specific need in mind go to God and ask him in faith and do not doubt number go to God with the expectation to receive his blessings friends I hope you take these practice and put them in your life to revive uh, the, the, the life of your prayer. It's time to revive the reasons why we go to Jesus and he will do wonders as we seek to carry this out. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you and you have a good one.